Today on Suncoast View, Florida politicians on both sides of the aisle honor the life of John McCain. We'll discuss. Get your calendars out. Sarasota Society photographer Cliff Rolls has his picks for September's best charity event. Plus, we give pottery painting a try. All that and more right now on Suncoast View. Welcome to the show and welcome back to Suncoast Society photographer Cliff Rolls. Thank Great you. To see Morning, you. ladies. Nice oh, to be here again. Oh, our man from society. Yes, and it's slowly easing its way back now. After Things a going quiet back summer. on the calendar. Yes, they are. Well, Looks not a quiet, up. not a quiet summer for you. I understand one of your photographs has been given a lovely award. Tell us about the award, and we actually have the photo to take a I'm, look at. I'm humbled. Thank you so much. Yes, um, as a photographer, you you automatically um, put your some of your photos that you think are good in various competitions, and normally you hear nothing back from them except you know, that they've accepted your admission fee. Um, <laughs> in this case, I belong to the Professional Photographers of America, and uh, this one sort of made its way through all the district competitions to the big finals. And all of a sudden, I'm, I'm sitting there, and I'm told that it's actually of 5,000 and uh, a few entries, 513 have been accepted to what is called the loan collection, which is the very big, prestigious book that will be released by the professional photographers. Oh, good. And my photo, the one you just saw, Santa Maddalena, which I took last August, was in fact uh, accepted. So I'm very honored. Oh, wow. It's the first time I've ever won anything in that respect. And I'm very, very honored to be able to, to I, if I wanted to, I could go to Atlanta, where it's all happening in, in January, and, and have a look at it um, well, being displayed. Oh, yes. That is wonderful. But again, the book. You yeah, get in the book. And that's it, it's oh, that's you know, beautiful. But you know what's yeah. amazing is that despite that honor, I know that you have other photos that you love even more because they are a little closer to the heart. I wonder <laughs> which ones they could be. I oh. bet you could tell us. So how old are the twins right Three now? Three and a half going on four. They'll be four on December 15. And I did a preschool. shoot with them the other day for their mother's Christmas online boutique collection. Oh, oh. cute. And oh, um, cute. we got Jennifer Omineki of Selby Gardens got us on that when we were visiting the gardens last week. And obviously I love, I just, um, they've got this thing about umbrellas now. Oh. You know, they, whenever it starts to rain, they'll grab, can we have our umbrellas? And then it's a question of, are they going to gouge each other's eyes out <laughs> or mine or, you know, Maria's? And, and um, yeah, they have fun with the umbrellas. So we're going through all the normal stages now. Of, uh, and it's been great because I've had a quiet two months. Ah. And I've been able to concentrate a little them. bit more on them. Are yeah. their personalities exactly alike no, as twins? No, completely different. We, oh. have a, we have a dainty um, future supermodel, blue-eyed beauty, and then we have a very tomboyish, I'm going to break everything, and uh, I, you know, I'm in your face kind of, that's Emmy. And, um, but they have totally different, uh, totally different characters. That's now, very they're developing now totally differently. Yeah. Well, great that you were here for the summer to spend time with them, yes. and great yeah. that things are revving back up in terms of our social scene. Oh, yes. So we'll find out more about that a little bit later in the show. Well, I had a busy, busy weekend. I know both Linda and I were traveling. Uh, I dropped my daughter off at college in Wisconsin. We did have a little fun. We took in a Cubs game. As you may or may not remember, our guide dog's name was Wrigley, so that comes from us loving the Chicago, Chicago. area and me growing up there. So we went. We didn't couldn't bring. Wrigley Wrigley, so we went to the next best thing in Wrigley Field and had a ball game before we went and to college. And Reagan arranged this? She did. That, you know, that's so unselfish. At that age, I was all about me. I would not have been thinking of something nice to do for well, my mom. Well, this dorm room was all about her, but I really <laughs> appreciate that she did, yes, get those tickets for us. So we Good had for a, you, Reagan. We had a fun day on Saturday. Sunday, we did all the unpacking and the work, and that is the University of Wisconsin at sunset. So not oh. a not a bad place to be that's for sure so oh, excited have a wonderful time Reagan yes excited for her and you saw grandkids this weekend in Atlanta I did my granddaughter Ariana's 10 we celebrated her 10th birthday big swimming party and it was sort of a breakthrough her boyfriend came oh that that was the big thing would her boyfriend show up so about 20 kids from her class came so it was a big success oh good so we're going into a different phase I think I think you are <laughs> you feel they're asking for your blessing Linda <laughs> they, they want 
up to grandma and here's the boyfriend. Is, is he acceptable? Oh, he's very acceptable. He could go from the high dive very <laughs> successfully. Uh, and his parents were there and they were very nice. So, yeah. you know, already checking out the parents. Oh, you can't it start starts too early. <laughs> starts very, very early. All right, we're going to see who's in the Rice's Appliance Kitchen today. We welcome back Popey from Popey's Place. What are we making today? Chicken and dumplings. Ooh, oh, chicken, and, like chicken home. and dumplings. Exactly. A nice comfort food, that's yes. for sure. And I bet you have a good Mediterranean twist on it. Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Well, we'll be joining Popey to uh, learn more about that. Hey, some big events uh, here on the Sun Coast over the weekend. If you missed it on Friday, writer and director Dan Murek was on our show. He is best known as the co-creator of the movie The Blair Witch Project, which was a huge independent film success. Well, over the weekend, he was here, as in literally here in our studio, to shoot scenes for his latest movie, Sky Man. So everybody at ABC7 in full 80s mode because they needed fake archival footage of old news broadcasts and our ABC7 family got to help but what everybody was talking about was Joey Panic's killer mustache. <laughs> oh. Check him out. He reminds me actually of a 70s or 80s film star of which genre yeah, I won't I was, talk about. Frank Sinatra or somebody like that. I think very Errol like. Flynn, don't you? Yeah, Errol Flynn, maybe. Yeah. Jacqueline has the big hair going, as would be appropriate. But how fun that we will be part of the new I movie can't wait to see that Dan it. Merrick is creating. And he, this guy makes great movies. So Absolutely. This is really good. Yeah. Well, you know, this is this oh, was Joey's Joey. life before us was oh. uh, being a star on stage. Yes. So now he's adding film to his resume. So a lot of fun. Look at that look. Look at that. Happy now, to be a, a part actor. of it. I know. We'll have to see what he he's on vacation this weekend, celebrating a birthday when he comes back. If he has the mustache. We'll oh, have to ask if I think wear it. it might have come on tape. I know, but I'm hoping you'll put it back on. <laughs> All right, it is time for our first hot topic. And Florida lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are paying tribute to 81-year-old Senator John McCain, who lost his battle with brain cancer over the weekend. Both Florida Republicans and Democrats are allowing his service to our country, his honor, his bravery, and his decency. McCain is described as a true American hero, and in his honor, many are asking to show how the parties can come together in the spirit of his patriotism. Mm. A lot of memories there. Oh, he, to me, is a real, true hero. And I feel sad because we really missed out on a great president. Somewhere along the way, this man would have been an awesome president, and we never got that opportunity. Mm. But we won't forget him. He will be remembered as a great, great American by both sides. Isn't that nice? Well, and isn't that what we hope and strive for at this point and so rarely achieve? What America's all about. That's mm -hmm. the way it all started out. Well, having only been in, in, in the United States for 15, 16 years, I, I didn't really know much about him. It's now, after his passing, that I'm finding out lots more about his history. And, of course, uh, prisoner of war, yes. American hero, and things like that. Um, what a classy man. Yes. Absolute classy A great man, man was among us. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely. We're all better off because he was here, and he will certainly be missed. But I would have loved to have had him for president. Yeah, and his dedication just to everything, you know, mm -hmm. after everything he went through as a, a POW to yes. then come back and want to serve, mm -hmm. you know, as a lawmaker for as many decades as he did. Mm. It, uh, you know, it is truly a lifetime of service. So someone who can truly be appreciated. It's nice that we're going to be able to take some time this week to do that. And also a good reminder with the Florida primary tomorrow, you know, for, oh, all, yes. for all that John McCain yes. certainly gave of Ooh, himself, yeah. you know, all we need to do is get out and vote to do yes. our part. So something to keep in mind Find tomorrow. John McCain tomorrow. <laughs> exactly. So a newly hired NASA intern got the lesson of a lifetime last week about being careful what you say and who you say it to. So Naomi H on Twitter enthusiastically and and profanely writes to her followers, shut the blank up and hear the big news that she was accepted into NASA's internship program. Well, a man named Homer Hickman replied simply with language. Well, Naomi fired back, maybe tongue in cheek, but she amped up the vulgarity with a phrase I won't even use here. And Hickman replied by letting her know he is actually on the National Space Council overseeing NASA. Oops. In fact, he's not just anyone from NASA. He is the legendary engineer whose life story was turned into the film October Sky. 
Hickman said he actually was not offended by her phrasing. He's a Vietnam vet after all. It's not like he hasn't heard it, he said. But he wanted to help her because this could end up badly if the wrong person saw it. Well, unfortunately, it did end up badly. Naomi was let go from mm. her internship. What do you think the lesson I, is? I think she had uh, very bad decision-making abilities. She sh no matter who he was, she shouldn't have answered like that. Uh, and you've really got to, I mean, words count. What yeah. are you thinking? Right. If you're going to do something in an intellectual uh, capacity, words count for everything. And appearances on social media count. I mean, if that's one thing that I don't think we can teach, you know, the younger generation enough is what you put out there, people see, mm -hmm. obviously, and sometimes people don't necessarily find it amusing. And young um, uh, would-be employees are being told all the time that future employers are checking out their yes. social media accounts. And so to let F-bombs, you know, and, and put that kind of language on there, they're absolutely stupid. This, and this girl, um, she should have really, um, she, first of all, you don't do it at all. Right. But secondly, you should ask yourself who this man is, and you probably just click on his name, and then it'll come through who he is. But pretty stupid, really. Yeah, yes, oh, no, it very. Was. Probably it not was. worthy of the job. And no. he didn't deserve to be there no, at that really, as no. they did decide. All right, Cliff, this one's for you. From tweets to selfies, social media gives everyone a chance to put it all out there, but often not without some help from a filter. There are no shortage of Photoshop features at your fingertips. Oh. So a recent article in the JAMA Facial Plastic Surgery Journal says more and more patients are bringing altered photos into the plastic surgeon's office and looking for permanent surgical options uh -huh. to look like their filtered selfies. Uh -huh. It is being called Snapchat dysmorphia. Some say it can actually lead to body dysmorphic disorder, which is an excessive preoccupation with a perceived flaw in our appearance. Cliff, I can only imagine the yeah. emails and phone calls you just oh, might yes. get about people concerned about their published oh, photos. Yes, especially since things like Instagram and Snapchat have, have, have come into existence. And there are these filters that allow me to take the acne out of a person or um, increase or reduce the size of a person's body part that Ooh. the person will then <laughs> go, yeah, there's a filter want, for everything. I want to be decreased. There's Come an on. app for that, Linda. <laughs> and yeah. it's basically, I get that all the time. You know, make me thinner is probably one of the, the most uh, frequent comments that I hear. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, you know, obviously when it comes to, the, uh, you know, what do I need Botox for when I've got you? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that, you know. But I can, I, all photographers that have a little savvy in Photoshop or Lightroom, they can help. Um, take 10 years off somebody, but to then go into a plastic surgeon and say, I'd like to look like that, I don't know. The plastic surgeons probably laugh it off now anyway. They probably heard it all before. Laughing all the way to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had plastic surgery. I had a facelift maybe 12 years ago. Uh, and it didn't, it just made me look a little rested. You look it, more relaxed, yeah. Yeah, it made me look more rested sure. and tighten things up. But it didn't make me look like myself when I was 20, yeah. or 30, or 40, or maybe even 50, you know. But it right. just made, but so it's not, there is no magic. No, and you, you know, a lot of people just still use the photos, their press photos that they took 20, 30 yeah, years ago. Right. And they actually put them up now on Facebook. And I laugh, and I laugh myself silly at them. But then it's, you know, it's my business to say, I have a headshot studio. Come in and see me. I'll, I'll make you. Uh, uh, I'll do you a nice headshot. You know, you'll, you'll go away happy. And hopefully, put a good filter on it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, then Nothing you can go to your plastic that. surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. As if weddings aren't complicated enough, many brides are now looking for a change in style between the wedding and the reception. But not just a dress style, a hairstyle, as in a new hair cut. So stylists have shared that many brides want a stylist on location to give them a haircut after the ceremony. We've got long blonde hair here. Then they would be showing off a new photo at the reception. Brides say this is a good way to make a second impression on guests. Holy high maintenance. Oh, Fantastic. That's, taking, that's taking time away from the most important day of your life. You know, this is a day that you've waited for all your life, and you're taking time to get a haircut? I can't imagine. You I seen this one, Cliff? I think it's a great present. I think if you want to give the bride a, a present, that would be... I'm actually going to buy your, hair, your hairdo during, from the reception, uh, from the ceremony uh, in between to the reception. Well, it's a whole new set of pictures. You know, this is okay. nothing oh, but yeah, good for you. That. For the, I mean, for her, long term, fabulous. For, for the photographer, it's fun. And I say, it's a great wedding gift, you know? 
I don't want to spend that time. I don't spend either. that time with your family and Open your friends. Your presence. That's <laughs> what you want. Well, I just want to get out there and dance right, and celebrate. Enjoying your not sit there getting my hair done. There's dyed. always that, that time between the ceremony and the reception when, you know. you got to get pictures made. That's Yeah, I suppose you got to do the formals as well. But yeah, you know, <laughs> do that watching. No, the latest no, don't trend. Give me that. Yeah. Well, Next time I get married, don't hey. give me that. <laughs> we'll remember that. All right, we're going to check in with our mid morning forecast. When we come back, Cliff gets us ready for September's big social event. We have another east wind flow today and the showers over on the other coast are continuing to press across the state and eventually into our area, but it'll take a little bit of time, probably into the later afternoon when we'll start to see those storms arrive. In the meantime, plenty of sunshine to warm us up and we will warm to at or slightly above the average temperature for this time of year. We'll probably get up to about 92 for a daytime high with a feels like temperature of over 100. High pressure anchored to our north stays there for a time, bringing us this easterly wind flow. The easterly wind collides with our localized sea breeze front and where the two meet, showers and thunderstorms build. Those thunderstorms are generally pushed back toward the Gulf waters by that easterly wind as the heating of the day subsides and our sea breeze collapses. A daytime high today will top out again warm near the 92 mark. We'll have about a 50% chance of those afternoon or evening storms. And then as we head into the evening and overnight, the rain chances diminish. Vacation season is pretty much over. We're back in the school routine, and now we're really looking for fun things to do here on the Sun Coast. Well, get your calendars out. <laughs> Guest host and Sarasota Society photographer Cliff Rolls has his picks for the top September charity events. Yes. Okay, let's get our ball gowns on. But we don't have to for all these, no, do we? Slowly easing into the season now with uh, some very good events that's going to bring out Basically, we'll bring out all walks of Sarasota life, bring them back out of their vacations, get them back in the mode, um, and, uh, and get us ready for October, which is going to be absolute madness again. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start with September. Um, the first one that comes up on the 14th is the wonderful um, Intertape Polymer Group Leadership Breakfast for the Girls and Boys Club. And it takes place on Fruitville Road. This year, they're going to be honoring Dick Vital and Todd Jones, the public supermarket CEO. This is a wonderful event that really, really does. You can tell by the photographs. Oh, it brings yes. out every, every person from every kind of nonprofit. They meet at 7, 7.30 in the morning. Everyone sits down to breakfast. It's over by 9 o'clock. They will go their way back to their jobs, but uh, they've honored then um, two wonderful people every time. We do love the Boys and Girls Clubs and uh, look forward to that leadership breakfast as one of the, the very first events that and we're going to have getting back year. together. Absolutely. Society rolls. They, they get into, uh, they get in for first thing in the morning. Then that, that coming Saturday, they start going up to the Sarasota Opera House. There we see the Taste of Downtown, which is organized by Sarasota Opera. It's now in its fifth year. You're going to about, you get 25 to 30 restaurants and vendors around the Sarasota stage. And there's, there's Christine Nordstrom, for example, from SIFT. We've got all these people offering, Nancy Kultz, Nancy Krangold. We've got all these people offering their, their wares. People are wandering around with their plates and uh, getting there's Jen Sims. Recently left the opera, the organizer. She's now at the Community Foundation. But there are a lot of people organizing it. It's going to be one of those beautiful events on the Sarasota Opera stage. So be this is not a formal event. This is very informal. One to three on a Saturday afternoon and everybody enjoys getting back together. The idea of September events is mm -hmm. basically to get back together You want to know what again. people have been doing all what summer. What have you done all this yes, summer? Yes. My God, you look good. You've lost weight. Oh, you haven't. Oh, okay. It's that kind <laughs> of thing that this goes on. I love it. It's a nice one. Uh, the next one is, um, hasn't happened now for uh, two years. The Blood Bank has decided to come back and do a gala again, the Red Hot Gala, which I love to attend. It's always the red and black coloring. Now, this has got the Van Wazel this time on, the, on Saturday the 22nd in the evening. Um, dishes from the Man Sarasota Manatee Originals, great music, and of course they have the gaming tables. That's the Red oh, Hot really? Casino part of the event. All the proceeds going, of course, to the Sun Coast Blood Bank. You'll see Amy Tooten is going to be the chair, but there was Karen Cadu of ABC7 there as well volunteering. Lovely, lovely event. Uh, Jane, Jane Giroux there. All these lovely people gathering to, uh, to come together for the blood bank. And I say, they didn't do one last year. 
This is their first one for, for two years. I'm looking forward to it. There's Rennie Hammer getting rolled up in, 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 in raffle tickets that she then bought. Oh that my was goodness. It was lovely. <laughs> so that was, the, uh, that was the, the Suncoast blood bank. We're now going into 40 carats. Now, we were talking about these selfies and, uh, and things. The, the topic of the free speaker event on September 25th is called Unselfie, Why Empathetic Kids Succeed in Our All About Me World. Featuring best-selling author and parenting expert, Dr. Michelle Borber, this is all about teaching kids not to think too much about themselves, oh. but to think about others. And I think it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful... I would uh, like to hear that. Yes, that sounds really that's at Riverview High School Performing Arts Centre, September 25th at 7 o'clock in the evening. It's free, but you please have to... You have to contact them for a seat. No doubt it's nearly filled. You've got as to have well a reservation. Now. As I say, all walks of Sarasota life coming back now after the, uh, after the uh, uh, summer vacation. Um, one that I haven't done yet, it's the second one, is the uh, um, Roskamp Foundation's Grey Matters. Now, this deals with Alzheimer's. <laughs> Did you know that one in nine people age 65 and older? have Alzheimer's. That is so scary. And by 2050, <laughs> it's estimated that as many as 16 million Americans are going to have it. This is what this symposium is all about. It's sold out, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. You can put yourself on the waiting list for it. It uh, takes place at the Re Roskamp Foundation. And I think it's very, very important. I think you're going to um, enjoy that symposium and learn a lot about it. The last one out today is one, again, that hasn't been done for a couple of years and never as an evening event. I love the fact the Girl Scouts, under the leadership of Mary Ann Servian now, are putting on a denim and pearls dinner at their Gulf Coast event and conference centre oh, on Cattleman Road. You've got Innovative Dining doing the doing the wonderful food, you've got the Blues Pig Band doing the blues, and you're supposed to come in jeans and comfy shoes. They're honouring Ray Dowling, the board president of the Girl Scouts, and our lovely Roxy Jody of the Community Foundation of Sarasota County. This one, I said, uh, hasn't happened for a few years, and in my opinion, never as an evening event. I'm, much, I'm looking forward to it very, very much. Those are my starter events. Come back in October with the big ones. Why oh. Women in Shoes, Key to the Cure, all the big ones that start happening through the season. Oh, we are, we are rolling now. We are going. Cliff. I know. I'm, I'm getting my sleep in now. You better. <laughs> you better. Well, to see more photos from all the events around the Sun Coast, check out cliffrolls.smugmug.com. Next is online shopping changing your brain. We'll discuss. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call, and you cannot be turned down for any reason. Even if you have health problems or are living on a fixed income, guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance policies could work for you with prices starting at less than 32 cents a day. That's as low as $9.40 a month. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. My mom didn't have life insurance and the cost all fell on me. And that's expensive. Mm. We're, we're still paying for yeah, that. Yeah, we're still paying for that. Call 1-800-218-4991. Now, in one phone call, you can help prepare your family with protection amounts up to $25,000. There are no medical tests or health questions. And remember, you cannot be turned down for any reason. In fact, True Stage policies are already protecting over 18 million Americans. And rates are designed to be affordable, starting at less than 32 cents a day. That's as low as 940 a month. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. 
When I leave, everything will be taken care of for them. Call 1-800-218-4991. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget with prices starting at less than 32 cents a day. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1-800-218-4991 now. Welcome back. Well, online retailers like Amazon sure have taken over our shopping habits and the retail market, but it's not just more convenient. It could actually be more gratifying to us mentally. There's a psychology behind this. So the Atlantic reports that there's a real science to why online shopping is harder for us than in the store in terms of getting addicted to it. A Harvard medical researcher describes you get a dopamine hit from buying something. It gives you positive <laughs> feelings, but when you do it online, you get it twice, and I can see this. Once when you buy it, yeah. you're happy, you're excited, then you get another one when it drops at your door. Yeah. So it's double the pleasure, double the fun. So now with so many different ways that you can order online, some people even forget what they actually ordered till it shows up, which oh. is an extra dopamine hit. Well, I check outside my door. I got home from Atlanta about one o'clock in the morning. First thing I did, check outside my door. I don't think I've really ordered anything, but I always hope that mm. there'll be a package <laughs> it's there. True. It's I true. do, I look at every day, and I don't know what I'm expecting, but it's like a little miracle when those packages show up. <laughs> there, and it is, I mean, obviously it's a lot more convenient than battling traffic, going to the stores. Yes. You know, we love our local shops and brick and mortar retailers, but there is something so fun yeah, about yeah. having something new in your front door. You because see that FedEx van come around is. the corner or the, or the UPS and you think, I wonder if he's got something for me. Yes. And then you do get that package. Oh, my God. It's a, but um, on the other hand, I, I really do feel for the retailers and I'm a big fan of, of going to... My wife and I were discussing this the other day, the fact that they're suffering because of it. Uh -huh. the on everybody's off ordering online and, and nobody's going actually into the stores. Anymore. Have you been to the malls lately? It's you know, really very, very quiet. Yeah. So, yeah. And, I, and I'm saying, I hope this is not a trend, you know, but I, I love online shopping too. So convenient, isn't it? Well, and you order more, I think, because it's so easy to click. Yeah. It's not yeah. like <laughs> seeing this big pile of things pile up. Right. It's so easy to, oh, and that looks good. And well, and there's always some free shipping threshold you might That's have it. to yes. get Can to. Can we make the yes. free shipping? Yeah, no, yes. I'm, no, I'm not going to pay for shipping. shipping I'm right. not doing it. So no. sometimes you have to spend a little more to even get that. Yeah. And so it goes. So yes. well, we are all about shopping local and supporting our local realtors, retailers, but there is a science behind our little online addictions. Yeah. All right, coming up next, uh, we're gonna not talk science, but rather art and give pottery painting a try. Stay with us. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Without the letters A, B, and O, there's no mom. No dad. There's no Brittany. Because A's, B's, and O's determine your blood type. 
and we're missing all of them. That's why the American Red Cross needs people like you to help fill the gaps. Schedule your donation at redcrossblood.org. All right, crew, let's get started. Sure. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. like each of us has an artist hidden deep inside. There's a need to create art in our very bones. And if it's pottery you want to create, Arts Ablaze offers you a perfect opportunity to try your hand at it. Joining us to help us find our artistic side is Teresa Barian from Arts Ablaze Studio. Welcome, Teresa. Thank Arts you Arts Ablaze Studio. Me. Tell yep. me about your studio. Well, we're a paint-your-own pottery studio located in Lakewood Ranch, Main Street, and it's good for any age, from so, infants to grandmas and grandpas. So we can just walk in? Do we need an appointment? Yep. We're a walk-in studio, so anytime you want to come in during our hours from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., you could find a project to pick and paint. So you have all the supplies there? Yes, we have everything there that you need to create something. You also have kits to go, I understand, we so we can take them home. That's exactly. A great idea. Yeah. How does that so, work? Um, well, we have a, on our website where you have about a half a dozen different projects to choose from. Order it online. Order your paints. You come and pick up a little box that we have here with your paint colors, a couple of brushes, and your project. Painted at your convenience at home. Oh, and this one's going to be an ice cream cone. Oh, yeah, look. With the different paints all ready to go. That's cool because if you want to start a new hobby, sometimes you don't want to go out and buy all of the supplies that are needed because mm -hmm. what exactly. if you're not good at it or you don't like it? So exactly. this is a great way to begin. Yes, yep. and you're all set to start. Yes. So this is what we would have. Well, show us how to use it now. Now, I think, didn't you bring, you brought us some sponges. I brought us a little project to uh -huh. do, and it's uh, ombre painting with sponges. Okay. So we have three different different colors that we're going to melt into getting from light to dark. Okay. So you're going to take your first sponge and put it in the little pink cup, wipe some off here, then start putting it at the top of your tile. At the top. Right. Okay. So you have a blotting tile for yes, us kind exactly. of. Yes, okay. exactly. I see. Put okay. it at the top. S do we use the same, s oh, all, all the way across? Yep, all the way across. Now, I know different types of painting allow for mistakes. <laughs> right? I, where does this fall on that? Um, this is very easily taken off <laughs> until the final outcome after it comes out of the kiln. You could change anything on it. Oh, good. Uh, that now, do we go to the, the same to brush? The, the you same can sponge? use another sponge and okay. then blot that one. And now you're going to start where you left off on the other color and kind of mend them together. Okay, mend them together. Well, I'm doing a good job on our desk. I don't know about <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to have the blue. At it least it's a Sun Coast okay. blue. It comes, everything comes off with water. So oh, that's so oh, good that's to know. Yeah. <laughs> you could come in your finest uh, dress and paint, and it'll just wash off. Ah. I, I like the idea, too, that you can go somewhere, and all of all of the supplies are there, but also the cleanup happens. The yes, too. yes, exactly. But if you take it home, you're not taking all the stuff you'll never use. You're taking right, stuff you, that you will actually use. Use. Right, exactly. I exactly. have so many leftover art things that I never, I used one of and never used anymore. Oh yeah, there's, we have everything, cups, plates, platters, teapots. What kind of paint is this? This is pottery paint. Okay. It's only good on pottery. And as you could see, the bowl is all shiny. That's because it was fired in the kiln. 
and that's how these will have to be fired in the kiln otherwise the paint would come right off if it wasn't fired ah, so it we have to leave right them. off we right i'll them take them you. back to the studio and fire them in the kiln and oh. in a few days you'll pick up your project oh, so nice. if if we take a kit home then they we have to bring back the kit for it to be fired and that how long does it take it uh, takes between five and seven days to get your project back when it's closer to the holidays, like Christmas, and we're mad crazy, it could take only two days. But the kiln does, these do have to be fired at 1,828 degrees inside the kiln. Wow. So it takes about eight hours to get to that temperature, and then the kiln shuts down, and it takes another 20 hours to cool oh. to 200 degrees. So this is not the sort of thing we would ever have at home. Yeah, exactly. You don't I, want I looked the on your website. I saw those Christmas trees oh, that yeah. you make. Yep. Oh, I've got one of those. <laughs> what Most fun. You have classes. Yep. Stephanie, yours came out very pretty. I like the blue. Yeah, yeah and it came I like out the, really nice. I like the way that you figured out the tones of the blues that go right. together. Because, you know, and I can do anything once given directly. But yeah. I don't usually have a lot of uh, so ideas I need on my more own. Up. <laughs> well, you want to take some of the light gray that you started with uh -huh. and bring it down into here because the light gray that right, I started this with. One. Okay. You know what I like about the idea of doing this with a group of friends is like you can go out to eat or you can go to dinner, right. but when you're doing a craft or a project together, it's mm -hmm. like when you're playing cards. Yeah. You have the best conversations. Yes, you do. And everybody's kind of doing their own thing, but kind of you know, uh, you, it's a great way to catch up. Or do things that aren't don't always involve going out for cocktails. Right, right. And or when eating. you're focused on something else, you're more free with your conversation. Yeah. I think you say things. And it things. is BYOB if you want. Well, <laughs> uh, speaking I mean, of cocktails, it's nice to know there's <laughs> the option. We might, yeah, exactly. We might need you get that. more creative. Joy, how are you doing over there? I mean, it could be better, but especially because I'm looking at Teresa's. Teresa, prop yours up a little bit so they can see how the master does it. <laughs> but it's let's see, that's really, really pretty. Gorgeous work. And so will the color change when the kiln hits yeah, it? Yeah, it, it, the blues yeah, that she's no. using are the blues I that love are that. that is. Okay. That's okay. Gonna be Here's kind of going to be a before. So it exactly. gets darker. Exactly. Yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, look, and look, it goes from dark to light. Right. Yeah, and you can see doing. how you're going to yep. get the sheen once you get the kiln. Is right. this, what age group is this for? Oh, we have infants to you know, grandmas, it's for everybody. The infants don't necessarily paint, but we do handprints, we do footprints on anything, and then, like, we do booty prints, and oh. then it turns them into oh, so so cute. a something pumpkin. To, it says, my little say. pumpkin. Oh, this yeah. is so much fun. Everybody's yeah. going to Linda, we it. can do a booty print for you for, ha for a Halloween. <laughs> oh, yeah, that yeah. would be scary. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. You'll become a well, little rumpkin. <laughs> if you want to try this for yourself, you just take it back once you paint it at home, and she will finish it off for you. And for more on Arts of Blaze Studio, visit their website, artsablazestudio.com. We'll be right back. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Ray Collins. Today at noon, new information about the man accused of killing two people and then himself at a video game competition in Jacksonville. One of the 11 injured has ties to the Bay Area. And based on early voting, primary election day tomorrow could set a new record locally. We'll have a preview of tomorrow's big election day. But first, here's the forecast from John Scalzi. Yeah, plenty of sunshine around today. Satellite view shows that, and that'll help boost our temperatures up into the lower 90s once again. We have an easterly wind flow that has helped with some of the red tide situation across the area, at least in terms of the amount of irritant that moves inland from dead fish and toxin. So as we develop that easterly wind flow again today, it'll collide with our sea breeze that'll build in response to all that heating and give us those showers and thunderstorms at about a 50% coverage. We'll have new updated information on the red tide at our area beaches at noon. Another pair of satisfied emotions. Looks to me like elation and maybe some amazement. It's part of the Honda Summer Spectacular Event Experience. You could say satisfaction comes standard here, just like the Honda Accord comes standard with a luxurious roomy interior. <laughs> all at the Honda Summer Spectacular Event. We see it all the time. 
Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Accord, 2018's North American Car of the Year. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Roser from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. This is what high blood pressure looks like. Talk with your doctor to create a treatment plan that works for you. Go to loweryourhbp.org. Welcome back. Most of us spend way too much time with devices in our hands and our heads down. We may exchange information in emails and texts, but we aren't having a lot of genuine conversation. So a group of friends created a game to try and change that. And one of the creators, William Jackman, is here to play it with us. Welcome. Thank you. So the game is called Vertelis. What Correct. does that mean? So Vertelis in Dutch, loosely translated, means tell us more. So okay. So we have a question card game, and the idea of that is it's not just about the one answer that you give, but it's about tell us more. Like, why is that an important answer for you? So actually a real genuine conversation, which exactly. apparently used to happen a lot more than it does now. I pray so. Uh, yeah. Now tell us why this is something that you and a group of your friends decided mm -hmm. was something we needed. Yes. Yeah, so, so actually two of my friends, they, they created the first version. So they found that uh, as they were going on a worldwide travel, they couldn't really get their message across to their parents as to why they were doing that. So okay. they felt, you know, what, what if we create some cards that just, you know, facilitate a conversation <coughs> a little bit, you know, <laughs> questions that we hope we are being asked, and if they're no, they don't come into the conversation by, you know, just having a conversation, mm -hmm. at least we can kind of help along the conversation and create a, uh, you know, a, a more uh, genuine and, and happy at atmosphere as to why they were traveling for that year. What about the different varieties? You've got yes. them geared toward different groups. I do, yeah. So, so here's the first one. This is actually how we started off. So that's the classic. And the classic is friends and family. <coughs> um, so very specifically, it is, it is a very great game during Thanksgiving and Christmas because what it does is it looks back at the, the year that you've just had okay. and then it looks ahead to the upcoming year. So what is it that you want to accomplish and what you have accomplished. Okay, that sounds good. And then what's the second one? The second one is the family edition. So that one is really geared towards like families with children. Uh, so we say, we say about eight plus. Uh, some kids younger can also participate in this, but it's really geared towards you know, keeping the conversation. You know, you mentioned earlier back to school, right? A lot of extracurricular activities, a lot of kids that are mm -hmm. just busy all day long, you know, perhaps right. even more busy than their parents. Absolutely. Um, so again, we just want to make sure that we facilitate the conversation around perhaps the dinner table and uh, and and keep connected with your children. Well, and you want to know what they're thinking. Right. right. And you say, what are you thinking? And they're not going to just come out with it. They don't. No, not not. Probably better in a game. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, and you know, we used yeah. to spend so much more time around the dinner table. But, you know, yeah. now it's we're rushed because we're running out here and running out there. Yeah. So, okay, and good. And then there's the one that we're going to give a try. Tell us about the red Yeah. So, so we're going to be a little bit creative here because it is the, the, the relationship edition. Okay. Uh, so typically it's, it's meant for partners who, you know, have a, a relationship, like a long-term dedicated relationship. Okay. Um, well, Linda and I are I'm going sure on four years together yes. here. So that's long-term dedicated. I would dedicated. say that's pretty We well. sit next to each other all day. Long. I talk to her more than my husband, sadly. <laughs> I, and that's the thing, right? Like we spend a lot of time at work, so it, it is definitely right. something that you might be able to play with your, your work colleagues as well, that you may have to take a couple of questions out. Okay, right. Well, we'll skip those ones yes. <laughs> before we get ourselves in trouble here. All right, so give us an example. Let's pull a yes. card and we would see what the game yeah. is like. So, so I have a question here. So when in recent weeks or months did you have the most fun with your partner? 
Linda's 80th birthday party was the most fun oh, I had with her. Oh, that was, we went out beforehand because it was a surprise. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about it. So we went out beforehand so I would get dressed up and look nice for the party. Mm -hmm. And it was at the social. So, so we went to happy uh -huh, hour. With her daughter, Reagan and Joey. And we were having such a great time, I almost missed my party. <laughs> 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 but we don't get to do, you know, laugh and joke and mm -hmm. tell all those funny stories and drink it. Well, I guess we do do that on our job every day. <laughs> yeah. But it's a little different when you're doing our it. Job, doesn't it? A little different it, when you're it, doing it. It's so the fun just to yeah. be loose and talk to each other and, and have a great time. Yeah. In, in a very different setting, right? Just Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So okay. Well, I love games that bring back happy memories. Right. So that's yeah. a good question. Yeah, and it's and I will say that you know sometimes it could be like a little bit of a sad connotation as well, right? Yeah. I mean, sure. this is this is not just hey happiness. You know, I mean, life mm -hmm. sometimes is sad. I mean, uh, you know. Yeah, things happen. We so, need to talk so about and those we need to things. Talk about them, yeah. And I think that sometimes we we try to just shy away from them, or you know, people get really uh, scared or offended when uh -huh. you try to talk about something that's a little bit more sensitive. Mm -hmm. So we do hope that when people play our games, is that you are really honest, not only with you know the people around you, but also with yourself. You know, that, absolutely. That you well, that's that. how true communication occurs. Exactly. You know? All right, let's the try one more before we run out of time. Let's see. Uh, I can do another way from relationship. Um, how can you make your partner's day a little bit more beautiful tomorrow? Okay. How could I make her day more beautiful? Yes. Hmm. I can help you write those stories. She writes <laughs> stories in the middle of the night. She is up looking for our first hot topics every mm -hmm. day. Every day she is. And how could I make your day more beautiful? I could make sure that you have your coffee and tea exactly where you need it. When you leave, you can push the... We sit next to each other, mm -hmm. but we share a trash can. Okay. So, <laughs> when you leave, you could push the trash can on my side. Over to there your is. side, <laughs> yes. You know what? It's the little things. It, it is. is. It is the little things. <laughs> All right. Well, we love the fact that this game is about conversation, it's about communication, and it's about putting down the devices. Something I think absolutely all of us could yes, use we do. to we do. Yes, we need to do that. Probably yep. a little bit more. All right. So, you can find Vertelis online at vertelis.com, and you will also find it on Amazon. So great to meet you, William. Thanks for Thank coming to hang out with us. Great Thank job. You. And good conversation, of course. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Pets bring so much joy to our lives. They're loyal, they're protective, and smart. Yet as smart as our pets might be, they can't advocate for themselves, especially in the event of a natural disaster. During Hurricane Harvey, many families were separated from their pets. That's why it's important your pet is part of your family's disaster preparedness plan. Talk to your veterinarian and visit banfieldfoundation.org slash disaster. Don't save it for a rainy day. Me, pick me, me, me. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh man, I love technology. Hey yo, check out my new phone. Look at this right here. For years, the DeSoto Club has needed improvements. Join me in Boys and Girls Club of Manatee County as we raise money to build a brand new facility. It will be bigger and better, just like it was 40 years ago when I attended. Invest in kids, build great futures. We believe in patriotism. We believe in our nation's youth. We believe veterans earn their benefits through their service to our nation. We believe in a strong national security. We believe in our country. For 100 years, veterans have been impacting our nation through the American Legion, and we believe it makes a difference. If you believe, learn more at legion.org slash we believe. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. Coast Guard, we are taking on water. The United States Coast Guard. They secure our ports and waterways, protect our environment, keep drugs away from our kids, and save lives. It's dangerous work. And in times of triumph or tragedy, the Coast Guard Foundation answers the call to support Coast Guard members and their families. Learn more at CoastGuardFoundation.org. Mascara adds depth to the eyes. 
Lipstick gives the mouth color and definition. And ALS paralyzes the body. You look great, Mom. Thank you. Slowly taking away the ability to move and eventually breathe. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning at 9 here on Suncoast View. Something that is just impacting all of us here on the Sun Coast is red tide. Particularly heartbreaking, but also a health concern for those with allergies. So we're going to talk to an expert about what it is and how it actually works and affects our respiratory system. And then, of course, what we can do to help avoid its effects. I'll tell you, I've got a couple of good friends that work in the um, rental industry on Siesta Key, and they have just talked about the cancellation. Oh, it's yeah. just yes. rolling in and rolling in and you it's know got, it's got past the algae stage now the smell that we're all experiencing is the dead fish really and the dead yeah, right. all the dead animals and of course they're taking those in their tons over to landfills inland uh, yeah right so the smell is just going it's over everywhere. there as well but so i think it's, it's just come everywhere. up from the coast too and it, it's really bothering my allergies oh, so yeah. well i was just a minute ago i started to cry not that i was sad but i think it's red tide that's causing it and i have a little cough drop hidden right down here if the coughing gets too yeah. well you know what we have an allergist with us tomorrow so we will talk to him about things we can all do to keep ourselves safe from the effects of certainly an unfortunate situation all right, coming up next, Popey is ready and waiting in the kitchen. We're going to make chicken and dumplings. This is an ABC7 News Update. Good morning, I'm Stephanie Webb. Coming up today at noon, remembering the life and the legacy of Arizona Senator John McCain. And we're going to tell you about a new app that's designed to help kickstart some businesses that have been affected by red tide here on the Sun Coast. Right now, though, let's check in with First Alert meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at scattered showers ringing the state, but so far nothing over land. As we progress into the afternoon, we'll watch our sea breeze form, push these showers into our neck of the woods, and bring us good chances of thunderstorm activity. A lot of sunshine, though, to start the day off. That's pretty typical of an east wind flow pattern. And as we get that daytime heating and our temperatures climb to the low 90s, a localized sea breeze will build. At the zone where that sea breeze locally collides with that easterly wind, we get showers and thunderstorms that build. And our chance today of that is at about 50% or so. Those storms building inland will slowly drift to the coast. Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. Attention, on January 1st, 2018, the United States Tax Cut Act officially became law. This law also changes Obamacare. If you are uninsured or struggling to afford your current health insurance, there is now immediate relief. Health insurance that's not high-priced Obamacare is now available. Call the Health Insurance Helpline now. It's free. The cost for health insurance has been a serious problem in America, but now the law has changed. So many people don't get the insurance they need because they just don't call. Don't spend money you don't have to spend. Call now. It's free. If you are uninsured or unable to pay for ACA coverage, call the Health Insurance Helpline now. Get what you deserve. Call to see if you qualify for health care or dental coverage that starts immediately. Don't delay. Call now. It's free. Call 800-307-8167. 800-307-8167. Call 800-307-8167 now. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. 
That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases, a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5. Welcome back. We're here in Rice's Appliance Kitchen with Chef Popey from Popey's Place. What are we making? Chicken and dumplings. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds like what my mother used yes. to make. So how do we do this? Okay, you get ready your stock with your chicken and your vegetables. Then after it is ready, you strain it. You fix it. You clean your chicken and you cut them in pieces. Okay. Then you have your pot on. Uh -huh. So this and is the water that, that, we cook yeah, the that's, chicken that's in. It's a stock from ah, the chicken. Okay. Yes, that makes yes. Sense. You stay in it. Use yes. your chicken stock. Yes. Okay. Make, it, make sure it's boiling. Right. Uh -huh. Then you make your, your dough. Uh, the dough. You know. Uh, yeah. you put, uh, yes. Okay. You so put what goes milk. in our dough? On the dough, just milk. It's okay. A so that's flour. 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 Yes. flour and she's going to add so, milk. Okay. Yes. yes. All the milk or? Yes. The, oh. You see how you know? Yeah. You can tell. Let me switch hands here. Yes. You, you still haven't made dumplings <laughs> in a long, long time. And it's been time. a while since you poured in whisk, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And faster, faster, uh, faster. So what else goes in it yes. besides flour and milk? No, the flour is self rice. Nothing. Nothing. Just okay. Nothing. Really? Everything goes in the pot. Got it. Yes. Okay. So, so then you, once she gets that mix, yes. you put the li little butter inside, couple, you know, and the before you put the okay. dumplings. Yep. Hey, Cliff, could you butter. cut us some butter off there? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so and then once she needs this all together, yes. we end up with our dough, our, the dough yes. which you've rolled out. Where's yes. it going in there? Okay. Where do we, we, put, the, where do we put the butter, Poppy? Inside the, uh, the in stock. The pot. In, in the, the pot. Is that yes. the right yes. amount? Yes. yes. Not that I don't trust like you. Like two teaspoons. Well, then you got some work to do on that dough. A little bit more. A more, yes. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Okay, so here Perfect. is the part that and I... you put the little chicken paste inside for a little more flavor. Oh, this is all still going in the pot? Yes. In here? Yes. Okay. And what okay. is that? Little chicken paste. Oh, chicken. okay, a base little, like a bouillon yes, base? Yes, sure. yes, yes. And a little salt. Salt and pepper. Pepper, yes. Okay. And then... When the uh, stock is ready, okay. you make your dumplings. You so I've never done this before. You've never done I've this. I've never made okay. dumplings. So talk oh, me yes. through it. I made a strip. Okay, make strip, and you, okay. then you. Uh, yes. I'm gonna cut this yes. way, right? Very good. Yes. Okay, and then do I cut the strips as the well? The strips, yes. You cut them in squares. Like how big? Like that? Yes. And yes. do I roll dumplings? No. N no. This is, no. This okay. is ready to go. Yeah. You, really? You just yes. put them in as little yes. squares. Yes. See, Linda, I didn't grow up in the South, and I do not yeah. know how to make. I did, and I'm not doing very and well make sure over here with this. Make you separate them before okay. you put them in. Okay. You want to try? Yeah, sure. So I'll yeah. give you the. Yes. I don't want you suffering. We're separating. <laughs> You're getting a. You two okay over there? Wrist oh, we are. problem. Me, I'll hold the bowl, and you. I'll be honest. There's nothing I like more than eating chicken and dumplings. So That's at least good. I feel like I'm now being educated on how to do it. There's it's not difficult. Not, no, not difficult dumplings at all. Dumplings are not Pass, difficult it's at all. Nice, comfort food. Yeah, People Linda, did you used it. to make this for the kids? I did. Yeah, I did. Back I when, but that was a long time ago when my kids were make young. Make sure they separate them. Okay. I have yeah. to admit I've never done yeah. it, but I think I should. I, know I did like it back it. when I lived in Atlanta. Okay, People so we get the dumplings in. And how long do the dumplings cook in the water? Oh, this is good. You don't salad. have to do it all the way. You, may, you cook it maybe 10 minutes after okay. rice, okay. and then you let them sit 
and they cook themselves. Okay, how do we, what do we let them sit in? Do we let them sit in the gravy? Yes, the and then gravy? In, here, in the gravy. Oh, in yeah. the gravy, okay. And will the gravy thicken up? Yes, by himself, yes. So it turns into this yes. all by itself yes. once we put it in exactly. there. Exactly. Okay, yeah. this might be the easiest dinner to make And ever. if you have little problem, put too much stock. Sometimes right. put a little flour with the butter to and thicken thick it up. up. In case oh. you need a butter. All right. Well, Cliff, you and Linda have a finished product Beautiful. down there. Yeah. Your Beautiful. dough looks we good. We did it. Yes. Dig Very in good. and give the dumplings a try. I'm going right into the one in front of me. So this is chicken and dumplings. Dumplings. Of course, something you can find at Popey's Place. And yes. I have just I'm learned you. something that is not all that intimidating to make. So and I'm excited about chicken, that. The chicken yes. looks wonderful. All right, Cliff, great to see you. Thank you so much Thank for inviting me. I love hearing all that is yet to come in September. And nice to know that everybody's back in town. Yes. We're ready, ready to get on with our SunCoast social season. They start already. Oh, oh yep, they're nice. already. Yes. Look at that, I made those. I'm yes. proud of myself. <laughs> all right, enjoy the rest of your day. We're happy to yes. share oh, so our good. Monday with you. Enjoy the wow. SunCoast view. Yes. Thank you.